Welcome to OJ Studios. I hope you enjoy Punishment by Olivia Julius. Chapter 21 The Carnival It took another two hours of watching the Easter King and Queen contest and taking pictures with the King and Queen that I was finally allowed to go back to the backstage office to change. Once I got in there, I saw that Mom had already had a change of clothes picked out for me. Next to it was my school's book bag I opened it up to see Mom had put my clothes to wear at the cabin inside. After getting Brittany's help unzipping the dress, I pulled it up and over my head and pulled off the tights just leaving me wearing the pair of panties. I quickly grabbed the pair of purple shorts that Mom had set out for me and slid them on. Next, I put on a black spaghetti strap tank top. I then undid the straps to a pair of black sandals and put them onto my feet making sure that the strap that goes over my foot was on correctly. I looked at the girl in the mirror. She was still smiling that she had beat Rhea and had gotten Easter Princess. She was happier than I was when I had won Easter Prince two years ago. Brittany knocked me out of my thoughts as she knocked on the door for me to hurry up. Coming! I yelled as I finished looking myself over in the mirror one last time. I opened the door just in time to see Brittany putting her long hair into a ponytail. She is wearing blue jean shorts and a pink t-shirt with a ballerina on it. So. Are you ready to ride the rides? Brittany asked as soon as she saw me. Your dad says we have two hours to be on them before your cousin takes us up to their cabin. I'm ready! I said closing the door. I just need to put this in a safe spot I held up my book bag and put it under a small desk hoping that would be enough that no one would steal it. Let's go! I said running out of the trailer with Brittany following me. I ran down the stairs and all the way to where the rides were operating. Because I am the princess and Brittany is the runner up both her and I got free passes to ride the rides in priority line jumping. Both of us ran to the Comet Plunge a spaceship themed ride that had passengers spinning around in the air. Are you sure you're up to this? I asked Brittany. Brittany just looked at me and smiled. Please, I went to Six Flags and rode bigger rides this this. I nodded not wanting to tell her that I was kind of scared to be riding on this ride. Brittany and I showed off our badges to the carney and we both boarded one of the of the rocket shaped cars. You're scared, aren't you? Brittany asked. I am not. I replied just as the carney put the shoulder harness over me trapping me into the ride's cars. I can see the fear in your face. Brittany said pointing to my face. I can't wait to hear you scream like a girl. I will not. I said I meant to say more but at that moment the carney started the ride rocketing the car forward. I let out a small girlish scream as I slowly got pushed back in my seat. Brittany laughed as she watched me scream while holding on to the restraints for dear life. The ride finally stopped, and it took me way too long to let go of the restraints. I looked over to Brittany who already had the restraints lifted and was already getting off the ride. You can let go no. She whispered to me. I slowly lifted the restraints my heart was pounding as I slowly got off the ride. You screamed like a little girl the whole time! Brittany said laughing. I did not. I said even though yes, I did scream the whole time the ride was operating. Come on I bet you won't scream on the merry-go-round! Brittany and I left the ride hand in hand as she pulled me through the crowd. We were almost to the merry-go-round when we were stopped by Rhea. Rhea stood with her arms crossed blocking the way for both of us. Behind her Emily stood looking sad almost like she didn't want to be here with her. So, tomboy. I'm so glad I found you. Rhea said, let's talk. I'm not giving you Easter Princess. I said crossing my arms. Oh, well I know something that I bet this little one doesn't Rhea said pointing over to Brittany. Rhea don't. Emily said taking Rhea's shoulder. You can still get it next year. Nope this is my year. So, what is it going to be tomboy? Hand me over the tiara and the sash or else. I looked behind me to Brittany. With a questionable look. She just shrugged. Rhea had to be bluffy. There was no way that Rhea could know who I really was. You're not taking Easter Princess away from me. I replied putting my arms across my chest. Rhea smiled a little before fishing something out of her pocket. Fine have it your way at him. I felt my blood run cold as she said my name. I froze as I thought about what to say. That is, you right at him? Let's see here. 
She flipped a card over to show me my own school ID the one that was in my book bag that I had left backstage. Adam Trinan 4th grader at Little Ridge Elementary School. You know the picture on this ID looks almost just like you. Almost like you are Adam. Almost like you are really a boy. Behind Rhea Emily stepped back in shame. I was completely frozen, and I couldn't even guess what Brittany was thinking. I'll take the silence that I got you. Do you want everyone to know that you're a boy wearing girls clothes? Pretending to be a girl? Tell you what I will give you a trade if you give me Easter Princess, I will give you back your ID. I was about ready to take her trade, there was no way I wanted anyone else to know that I am really Adam. I probably just lost Brittany as a friend. I can only imagine what other people will think about me if they found out the truth. I about said deal to Rhea but then I felt the hand on my shoulder. I turned around to find Brittany pulling me back and stepping forward. Go ahead Tao. She said getting in front of me. I don't care if Amanda is really Adam or whoever. They're my friend. I'll stand with her or him. I will too! Emily said walking over to my side. They both took one of my hands in theirs. Rhea looked at them both now just as panicked as I had been. This isn't over? Rhea said throwing my school ID on the ground and turning around marching off back into the crowd. I'll make sure she doesn't do anything. Emily said. She's a pain when she doesn't get what she wants. Emily walked away leaving both Brittany and I alone. Brittany bent down and picked up my ID she looked at it for a second. So, you're Adam? She asked sitting at a picnic table. I followed her and sat across from her. Yes. I replied. I bet there is a good story to be told. I nodded and began telling her about what had happened on Thursday. 